Welcome to Influential Entrepreneurs, bringing you interviews with elite business leaders and experts, sharing tips and strategies for elevating your business to the next level. Here's your host, Mike Saunders. Hello and welcome to this episode of Influential Entrepreneurs. This is Mike Saunders, the Authority Positioning Coach, and today we have with us Dr. Simon Dove, who is a chiropractor in Fort Collins, Colorado, with the Chiropractic Wellness Center. Welcome to the program, Simon. Hi, Mike. It's great to be here with you again. Hey, you know, um, today I want to touch on something that we were talking about that I felt like from a novice, not knowing the profession as you do, of course, that really kind of stood out to me. And it's the relationship that chiropractic has with um, going way past just the bones and, and making the connection with uh, dramatic impact with the brain. So give us a little bit of background. Uh, on that. Let's see if we can unpack that a bit. Yeah, you picked a great one. Boy, that runs deep. And, you know, I think it's time to let the secret out. What do you think? (laughs) I like secrets, (laughs) and I think people like to be in the the know. So that's awesome. Exactly. So I think we can all agree that your health is your greatest asset. If you don't have your health, your your money's no good. You can't even express your love with your, your loved ones, you know, of course, to varying degrees. If your health is really lost, it's just you're out of the game. So that's for sure your greatest asset. Now, what most people don't realize is the depth that chiropractic can offer to that greatest asset of yours, which is your health. So most people think, oh, I know about chiropractic. And you know what? If I ever get into back pain or neck pain, I will go check that out. And what I hear they do is they pop your bones. Yep. So, hmm, also, maybe if I have a bone sore or something like that. That's when I go to the chiropractor. Now, I think we can trace this back over a hundred years ago. Chiropractic got discovered in this country, 1895. And during that time, it was explained to people as when you have a bony misalignment and that causes interference with the nerve transmission to wherever it's going from the brain, down the spinal cord, out to the cell, Wherever it's going, that's going to be diminished. Like the power is not quite all the way on. Okay? So in that explanation made sense. People got it. I think for whatever reason, they just collapsed it on the bone. It's all about the bone. And the missing gem, the secret, here comes the secret. It's much more about the nerve. And we as chiropractors, yes, we're, we're contacting parts of the spine. We're influencing bone position. But majority of our times, we are really influencing the nervous system. That is a direct relationship to your immune system, right back to your health. So really, the best way to protect your greatest asset is to make sure that there's no interference with the nervous system. And that is what a chiropractor really does. You know, I I love that because it is kind of like, you know, my cousin's a stockbroker and you think, oh, no, boiler room. And you think these connotations, these (laughs) knee-jerk reactions and the same as chiropractor, back cracker, you know, bones. But in reality, it is so much more. So why is that important? In other words, you know, you, you hear it say nerves and you hear the connection to the brain. What are some times that you have had a pretty major impact with a patient without mentioning details or names, but just sure. kind of like, wow, this person came in and they didn't even realize that their quality of life could be whatever, but they were experiencing this and wow, it, it really uh, um, changed their life because that connection, not the bone cracking. Yes. You know, incredible wide range of people that come see us, all ages, either sex and a wide range of reasons. So it can be musculoskeletal, we call it aches, pains, strains, sprains. Absolutely, we're great at it. But it can also be um, states of anxiety, high states of stress, the person's having troubles regulating um, diseases. Now, I will pause for a moment and get very clear here with everybody. We do not treat diseases. We do treat the nervous system and remove interferences that we identify it in this big funny word called subluxation. That's when the interference is happening from the spine and influencing the person's health. That is what we do. When we do it, 
what can occur sometimes occurs once the body's power and wisdom is turned back on. It takes care of that situation that we label as a disease. But I was never treating the disease, okay? So back to that wide range of, of people that are coming in. Some have diseases. Some don't. Some are more mental oriented, uh, emotional strains, you name it, wide range. So that's why it's so important to realize the chiropractor is influencing the big picture of your health, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, all of it, social, your relationships with your other people. I mean, what kind of mood are you in if you've been walking around with a rock in your shoe for five miles? Yeah. Just something like that. Well, we uh, I think that there's a lot of people that think, well, it's just that time of year. You know, uh, kids are going back to school, so this, or it's the holiday season, so I always feel, or, you know, I've heard like an old motivational speaker before say, you know, they had a client once that said, up oh, here's a, every fall I get my fall flu, up oh, here it comes now. And your brain <laughs> is like, Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, I will follow that. Well, that all of a sudden is not something that you want to uh, encourage. So what are some trigger points or things that people could notice to go, you know, I'm not, you know, in mm. pain, but I noticed this or I wonder if that yeah. not the disease side, but like, you know, I'm not depressed, but boy, I right. kinda don't have that spring in my step anymore. Mm. Brilliant. I'm so glad you brought that up because what I would recommend that people do is to start to relate to this bigger picture that we're both talking about right now. So yes, seasonal, absolutely. And there are some things like the flu or, you know, the weather affecting temperature swings, affecting people in different ways. Watch for that. But there's also rhythms in our every day, our every week during the year, emotional rhythms, mental rhythms. So what you want to do is start relating to, again, biggest asset, your health. How does chiropractic play in that? We are actually influencing your brain and nervous system. And guess what? They are running the show. Your brain and central nervous system that goes through your spine, which chiropractors are adjusting, they run the show. Every control center for every organ system, it's coming through the brain, down through the spinal cord, and out to the organs. So when we're adjusting people, we're influencing this wide range, this much bigger picture. So if we start to relate to, hmm, I'm not at my A game. I'm feeling a little down, a little, like, as you said, you know, not so much pep in my step. Or we don't even have to have a, a, a negative experience or a symptom. We could just say, you know what, I feel fantastic. I'd like to feel double fantastic. Or I'd like that to last more than two hours in one day. I'd like it to last days at a time. Yes, you got it. And why not? We deserve it. Yep. So I would encourage people to start to relate to the work that a chiropractor does on this bigger scale. So years ago in science, we thought there was the immune system and the neurological system running the show, the brain doing the function we have definitely come to realize there is no separate separation. You know, we thought the brain is just functioning, running the show, making sure everything functions. And the immune system was something different. It was like your, your guard, your army, protecting everything. Separate, though. We totally see that they are one in the same. Again, chiropractors influencing the spine, which is the central nervous system, that is an extension of the brain. They together help run the show. If you have better tone, more ease in your nervous system, you have better tone and ease in your life, mind, body, spirit. Okay, so here's a question for you. Yeah. Um, and I think this is a really, really good question. You might get it a lot, but you, you, I would wonder from someone from the outside listening in or looking in. If I come to you and I say, hey, I've kind of like I'm in a funk, and you're saying, mm -hmm. look at the mind, body, and th all these good things, all these great things, A, I'll bet some people would think one uh, engagement with you and poof, it's gone, so, so it's not immediate, but B, is there an element of truth to this? You might take a quarter of a step back and get just a touch worse before you get better, potentially. Yes, absolutely. There's a, a phenomenon in all healing arts 
Um, and in chiropractic as well, we understand that when we are helping the body and mind or brain reconnect, that once they reconnect, once you establish a better nerve transmission and communication from the brain and the body, sometimes there's a little backlog of work. Yes. So, and what I mean by that is one of our gifts as, as human beings is we can adapt. So when stress comes at us, physical, mental, emotional, chemical, any of them, when it comes at us, we thank goodness, have the ability to adapt. Now, in that down, adaptation, maybe. yep, you got it. Yeah. Sometimes that's a good way to, to understand, although adaptation is good, we're moving forward, but sometimes we just have to kind of back storage something, push something down, put it on pause. Mm-hmm. Now, the challenge would be if we don't go back and reconnect, then the next adaptation goes on top of that and so on and so on. And then we also have another great system called that pain feedback where your body will in its wisdom go, okay, now you have to pay attention. We have to get in there. So sometimes, thankfully not a lot of times, (laughs) but sometimes once a person starts receiving good corrective care at the chiropractor to get their health back online, there is some more expressing of symptoms that are typically classified as not so much fun. Which you so, might need to work through right. to get to the neck to the to the positive. It kind of kind of reminds me of like a sports injury years ago I had where maybe my shoulder I think it was my shoulder that you know yeah. kind of got um, you know really super sore or like a, a impact injury. And I remember someone doing like a deep tissue massage and they said, "Now listen, tomorrow and the next day you might even touch barely touch your skin and feel like a lot of pain because all this." mess is coming up and kind of coming up to the surface and then it'll move on through and sure enough there it was so i would just assume that maybe you you see an element of that so people should realize that you know one or two sessions with dr simon doesn't fix everything and it could just you know bring up some things that you need to just persevere and and soldier on and work through yep you've got it and it's remarkable sometimes we'll be working on one area of the spine uh directly physically with my hands but that expression, that, that symptomatology is in a totally different part of the body. But it's really all connected. And who is running the show? Again, that brain with the spinal cord. Yeah, neat. Hey, so when you're mentioning brain and connection that way, I'm certain of this, but where would there be some research that someone can, you know, just start their journey to see how chiropractic impacts the brain? I'm sure there's been MRIs or some type of things that can document that connection. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, actually, recently, um, McCoy Press uh, is an organization that just recently put out mental health and chiropractic. A uh, great study. I think it was edited by a gentleman named, last name Schwartz. Um, it's, it's amazing. Um, I'll just leave, I'm not going to touch too much. I encourage you to go get that, um, get access to that. Take it to a chiropractor, have them read <laughs> <laughs> or go to a chiropractor that understands that. Uh, and there's some more, you know, for anyone listening who's really steeped in science, a lot of this comes out of Stephen Porges's work, the polyvagal theory, really understanding the connection between the mind and the body and how the nervous system influences that and the spine influences that, which is what a chiropractor works with. Uh, lastly, you want to dive a little deeper into the philosophical neuroscience and how that's connected to your health and wellness. Um, there's a great book by, I remember his name, Eben Alexander, second book, um, Living in a Mindful Universe. That's what it is. Okay. Living in a Mindful Universe. You can get that on Amazon. Neat. Well, I just think yeah. that people might like, I'm the kind of person that I like to see uh, something validated. I might not understand the research, but I can go, okay, it's there. I'm, I get bits and pieces of it. And it makes sense to me that there is a connection between X and Y. And that's really awesome. So that's, that's really good. So tell me a little bit about what's going on recently. I understand you've been nominated for yet another award here oh, yeah. in your local area. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. I, we are fortunate enough to be nominated once again. I think it's the Four, five, six, seven. Fifth year in a row, we've been nominated for Best Chiropractor in Fort Collins, Colorado. 
and super honored to do that. We have won that award several times in the past. So, um, you know, it's probably one of my most famous or famous favorite, excuse me, my favorite um, awards or recognition because it comes directly from the people voting. It has nothing yeah. to do with advertising in a magazine or on a billboard and which we've done all that stuff. Um, but it, it comes from the people. So I, it's with great honor and humility that, that I love, I feel honored that we're, we're recognized for that. Yeah, that is just spectacular because like you and I both know that there are some things where it's like, wow, I just got this thing in the mail and I was nominated for the top whatever. I had no clue about what, and <laughs> right. all they want to do is sell you some advertising and and that's not an award but this is something where people have to actually go and vote and also from what i understand sometimes all the votes don't count because if you haven't voted enough so in other words they don't want just your friends and family voting they they want to see the real community voting and that just shows that it's a really valid um achievement so congratulations on that and uh, if anyone is interested in learning more about yourself and your practice what's the best way that they can learn more website and, and uh, connect up with you. Uh, two easy ways. My favorite is call me. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to listen to you like two human beings. We we live in such a digital world. It's it's my favorite. So you can call us at nine seven zero two two four five zero zero six. And also a really good resourceful convenient way is to go to our website. And that website is myfortcollinschiropractor.com. Excellent. Well, Simon, thank you so much for your time today. It was great catching up with you again. Mike, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your week. You've been listening to Influential Entrepreneurs with Mike Saunders. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit www.influentialentrepreneursradio.com.